All right, so what I'm noticing in this video is that it um, mainly is a video diary for me. It gets kind of boring if I'm not, um, like if I don't have, I write down like a direction of what I want to talk about, but mainly it was supposed to be in my head, supposed to be what I did the day before. Um, but without working, without having a car, those things that I have to regain, it's been kind of boring. And the um, goal is not to bore people. The goal is to get a community of people that share their daily activities so that we're all moving forward. We're not relapsing. Everybody relapses or goes through things at a different point, at a different time, a different season in their life. So anyway, I think as of right now, I'm going to keep doing daily videos. And um, I got to make sure my dog's not chewing on uh Come here, come here, uh, chewing on stuff, but, um, anyway, I really want a, um, I really want to just keep doing the daily videos, because I think it, it's something for me to look forward to, it keeps me, I know I can't screw up, I gotta talk about it later type of thing, and not necessarily right now, because there isn't an audience, but there will be, and when there is, uh, I gotta be honest, or I'll wanna be honest, it won't feel right, it'll really... If I was going against what I was saying, it would screw everything up for me personally. I just couldn't do that. Um, but tomorrow I plan to pay off a ticket, uh, get SR22 insurance and get a vehicle on Tuesday. Um, and then I can work again because I live in a small town. There's not really a way for me to work without having a vehicle for the most part. I mean, here and there, but not, not realistically uh, something I could do constantly without having a vehicle. Come on. So, I um, he's trying to chew on this little cord uh, hanger. But um, so anyway, I really just want to keep doing the daily videos for my sake. Um, I've still been eating well. That's that's awesome. Um, this is the last weekend I think I'm going to have off. Uh, that ankle is practically healed. I'm walking with a little bit of a limp, but nothing that I can't work with. Uh, so. I'm just going to watch a movie tonight with my girl and hang out and kind of what I've been doing while I've been resting the ankle. But, um, I, uh, I just really want to hit it hard and do 12 hour days, 16 hour days. If I'm able to, and really stack up money, I almost need to, to get us in the right position. We got to get to by April 1st when as of right now, I have to move out. I'm kind of going through something when I had a broken ankle, um, I didn't pick up dog poop. I didn't even take the dog out. My girlfriend did. And at that point, we were on drugs. Um, she was dope sick. She didn't really move or cook or clean or do anything, uh, work, really anything. She didn't really do much because, and neither did I, but I had that excuse of a broken ankle and she was just dope sick. And um, unless it involved drugs, there was nothing. I couldn't get her to really move. And uh, almost the same for me, you know. Um, I tried to make sure that the animals are taken care of and I think she did too for the most part, except for like picking up the poop outside. And uh, so that was... I think an issue with the apartment complex as well as I stopped paying rent, um, which I had never done my entire adult life anytime I've had a place. Uh, there was one time when I lost a business and I couldn't pay rent and I moved out within their little five day period they gave me. Um, and this time I was prepared to stay because I didn't have anywhere to go. And then my father had mentioned getting rental assistance and in getting rental assistance, I found out you have to get food stamps first and then you have to get energy assistance first. All of that I couldn't pay for anyway. So it kind of worked out. Well, I was approved for the food stamps because I wasn't able to work with the broken ankle. I was approved for the energy assistance. Now comes the rental. I am, uh, I'm playing a waiting game, a waiting game with. So I hope that we do get that. And what I'm going to do is that's guaranteed. That's a guaranteed check. And once they get that, I won't be evicted or can't be. My lease is up though. And I don't think they'll let me re-sign the lease. Unless they get this money uh, guaranteed and, and given to them. Then they would have to if they cash the check. So we'll see uh, exactly all what happens. I'm going to pray on it. And um, that's another thing. I don't know if I had spoken on any of my other videos about becoming a Christian or trying to believe in God, but I was an atheist for a while and I tried to do a 12 step program and I couldn't do the 12 step program because it always wanted me to put my faith in a higher power or find a higher power. And when I told them that I was, uh, that I didn't believe in God, that they, then they said, well, it doesn't have to be God. You know, it can be a rock or the sun or a tree or Whatever, and I will. I just, um, 
I couldn't worship a rock or couldn't put my faith in the sun or what. I just couldn't do it. So I, um, I don't know. I just didn't think that was my way to go. And then I found out there was a agnostic 12 step program. But by the time I found that out, I was already using and going that route. Um, we'll get into how I kind of started believing God a different day. But um, as far as this daily video goes, I pretty much am hanging out with my girlfriend and um, getting ready for to work a lot. And I don't know how often I'll be here once I start doing that because I kind of get addicted to work. And I'm noticing my shirt's dirty and it's really irritating me. Um, but uh, I kind of get addicted to work and then I don't end up being home a lot. I end up putting the money first a lot of the time. And that's something I want to change in my life. Um, but I really want to get into real estate and uh, not sell real estate, but invest in real estate. And I need money for that, you know, and I, I need a place with a backyard, a fenced in backyard for my dog is what I want. I'm making this work now because of how much we're able to take them outside. But and there's a lot of fields around here. Um, but I really need to pray on what, what's going to happen in the next couple months with our housing and um, just that the right thing. I know something will happen. I just don't know what will happen. I know I'll survive, but I don't know how well I'll survive. Um, I know I can keep my dog, but I don't know if that's going to make me homeless. Like, I just really don't know what's going to, what's going to happen. So, um, but again, the goal is to grow this and stay sober, but also recovery to riches. I need to find a way to create passive income um i get enough capital to start working start creating a job a business like the lawn care once that's created i can then have people working cutting lawns that i'm getting a cut from that i'm not cutting which is passive income in a way or earned income but it can create passive income and that's the whole goal um and that's what i will get to i know i'll get there it's not something that's going to be hard for me it's going to take a lot of hard work but the thing is i enjoy doing that style uh, of work and working for myself so no doubts in how i'll get there or no doubts in getting there just the journey of how i'll get there is uh the stepping stones and kind of the fun part honestly but i really just want to help people stay sober and want to be someone people can call if they if they uh are having a hard time i've always had people offer to me like you know call me but but it's hard when you have that in your brain like oh i want to use and then especially if the people aren't ex-addicts they're not going to understand why you just want to go and smoke whatever you know do whatever they're not going to get it um so i really just think um if i can create a funnel and it's not just one person you're calling it's a group of people you can make a video or go alive and, and we can talk to you and just maybe one of us lives by you and can uh meet up for a coffee or whatever you know what i mean maybe we can go get some adrenaline up by going going and doing something fun doing a couple donuts in a car whatever it is i just think there's healthier ways and um that's something that i need to find on my own and maybe one of you guys can help me find that um because i haven't been able to so that is kind of uh i'm just gonna find the right direction for this to go and um that's pretty much it for today. I just plan on having a really busy next six months or so. But um, staying sober is the main goal because without that, I'm really just going to end up in a horrible place. Just like I got myself to this time. Just needing help and not being the adult I know I can be or the person I know I can be. So thank God I don't have kids yet. But um, I plan to have them at some point and I'm going to need to grow up before that. The other thing, one last thing, is I feel like when you become a drug addict, people don't believe that you are smart or that you're um, maybe your what you say to them matters or or you're not someone they should take advice from that's what i mean and that is totally wrong i know a lot more about um business decisions or starting a business than a lot of adults do that are 50 that maybe have never touched drugs but also have never started a business or worked for work for one so uh just because you're an addict doesn't mean that your advice is not it doesn't matter but people seem to think that unless that's just my ego but that's what i feel like people think and that's definitely not true, and I want to prove that wrong. I want to have a team of winners that all is doing their own thing but doing it successfully, that all came from a struggling gambling addiction, drug addiction, or whatever past, a rough past, and I want us to make it and to have us each other to lean on in weak moments. And that's all I have for today.